Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the scariest books I've ever read. And I love to get scared by books, but I don't love to get scared by movies. But for some reason, when I'm reading a book, nothing really scares me. So when a book is able to kind of make me feel some, some fear, I give it a lot of props because it is hard to scare me. I have a list of eight books that I think are the scariest books I've ever read. And then I would love to hear what is the scariest book you've ever read. Leave those comments down below. Before we start talking about the books though, I would like to thank this video's sponsor, which is Nord Green. I love working with Nord Green so much. I love what they do. I love their product. If you don't know what Nord Green is, Nord Green is a Scandinavian watch company that specializes in making luxury designer feeling watches available at a reasonable price. Every time you buy a watch from Nord Green, a part of that sale is going to go to a charity of your choice. This is called their giving back program. And when you go to purchase your watch, there's no additional cost to donate. You're going to simply decide what you want part of your purchase to go to. You'll select your cause from three partner NGOs they work with and then enter your information. The three causes are providing clean water to Central African Republic, educating the future, which will donate one month of education to a child in India, and then protecting the rainforest, which will go towards protecting 200 square feet of rainforest that are, is preserved in Latin America. So again, I love what they do. I love their mission and their product is beautiful. The watch that I selected this time around was actually a silver one because this is not something I've gotten quite yet from them. I've gotten a lot of their gold and rose gold, which is gorgeous, but I absolutely love the silver watch and it has a black vegan leather strap on it that I think is so gorgeous. So you can see how beautiful the design is. It's simple. It goes with everything that you want to wear. And they have a wide range of different strap options. They have chain link straps. I absolutely love every watch that I've gotten from them. I think that they're so well crafted and again, go with any kind of outfit with their simplicity and elegance. I will link all of their information down below as well as my discount code that you can use when you are going to purchase a watch from them. So thank you so much Nordgreen and now let's get to the books. All right so let's start with one that I read several years ago at this point but still sticks with me today and that is The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchison. You are following a character who is a woman that was kidnapped as a young woman and kept in ca captivity with other women that were also kidnapped and the kidnapper uh, called these women his butterflies and they would tattoo these butterflies on their backs and the story you are hearing from that character as she's reflecting on her time in captivity and she has since escaped. So you kind of know that the story is going to end hopeful because the character is at least out of this situation, but what was so scary to me was just the really harrowing imagery of the women in the captivity and just what these women went through. It was, it's very dark, very heavy, hard to read at times, but I thought it was beautifully written and I really loved the characters and their resilience and their bond with each other, I think is what made it feel so like hopeful at the end of the day. So even though that this was a very difficult read, I still found it really compelling, very well written, and I loved the way the story unfolded and how these women came together to get out of this situation. So it's definitely a scary one. I thought it was really, really well done. The next one I have is The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry. This book is so bonkers. Oh my gosh. I still remember some of the scenes so vividly today uh, from this story. This follows a couple who desperately wants a child of their own and has had not so great luck trying to have their own child. And so when a small young girl uh, shows up at the hospital where the wife works one day. She's obviously in really big trouble. She looks horrible and emaciated and really unhealthy. And so she's an orphan and this couple decides to adopt her. 
Well, this girl may not be everything she appears and the story unfolds from there. I'm sure you can assume maybe what happens uh, based on the title that it is, it's wild. <laughs> it's so wild and just some of the things that happen in this book just really stuck with me. So if you like a good creepy kid story, <laughs> this is one of the creepiest I have ever read. Oh my gosh. And on that same note, <laughs> Creepy kids, if you like them. The Push by Ashley Audrain is also one you'd have to check out. This one I actually liked even more than The Perfect Child because one thing with this one is it doesn't have a great ending. It kind of just ends. It doesn't really have an ending. So <laughs> I still liked it because I really liked the journey getting there. But if you don't love an open ending, maybe this one isn't for you. But this one, oh my gosh, it is so dark so disturbing but it is so compelling the way it's written and you just feel so much for the main character who is a mother and this is about a mother who is having trouble bonding with her firstborn daughter and it I, that's really all I want to say because you kind of have to just go along on this mother's journey with her and just the way it explores motherhood is so interesting and I just I resonated with some of it but it was also just so dark and sad and disturbing but just written in the most compelling way where I just could not put this book down and I just thought it was so well done so so well done just very heavy oh my goodness wow um so that's a really scary one on a different but kind of the same note <laughs> pet cemetery by stephen king i think you're seeing a trend here anything that kind of takes on the themes of like parenthood in general and like kids is just gonna really resonate with me uh, especially just where i am right now with my life and pet cemetery by stephen king is definitely one that falls under that uh this is a story you probably know all about you've probably heard of it before and it's just i think it, not only is it just a really well-written Stephen King story, but it just is scary in a different kind of way uh, than a lot of other books of his. And I think if you're at a certain place in your life as a parent, then this might just hit really hard for you. Uh, so I, I think that this one is one that stuck with me the most out of any Stephen King book. Really made me like think long after I finished the book and was just very harrowing in a lot of ways. Uh, so it's not necessarily scary in like a sense of like jump scares or creepy imagery or anything like that. It's scary in a, in a certain way and that's all I'll say. Another Stephen King book I have to mention because it is probably the one, it's scary in a very different way uh, than Pet Cemetery, but It by Stephen King. So this was scary because of Pennywise, of course, uh, and some of the imagery uh, that surrounds Pennywise is quite scary, but it's actually not the reason it scared me a lot. It, what really scared me about it um, was not Pennywise's scenes at all. It was really the bully's scenes. Uh, it was the human part of this story that really scared me uh, because some of the human characters do horrible, horrible things. And it just kind of examines a lot about humanity in general. And it's just a little scary and disturbing because of that. So yeah, Pennywise is scary. He's a scary clown, but it's really the bullies. And that's what I think Stephen King does so well at exploring in a lot of his books is just the more human side of the horror, uh, because it's really scary kind of what, what some humans are capable of doing. So I think that's what he's so so good at another one i have is a thriller book it's not necessarily horror but oh my gosh it i'll just show, i'll show it the chain by adrian mckinty this is one that is following a character who is a mother <laughs> i swear i have a i have a theme here you're following a mother who has a young daughter daughter i think yes uh and her daughter gets kidnapped and the only way for her to get her daughter back is to kidnap another child. And that is what the chain is. You have to keep the chain going uh, in order to be reunited with your loved one. And 
it's it's thrilling from start to finish i could not put this book down but i think what it did so well and what made it scary was it put you in the character's shoes in such a vivid way i really felt like i was going through this story so closely with the main character and i kept thinking what would i do in this situation and it was a really scary thought to have because you just can't even imagine being in that situation and so just seeing what this character had to do and just oh just putting yourself in her shoes horrifying horrifying so that's why i was just so compelled by this one and i think it was just really well written and did that so vividly so if that sounds like something you'd like the chain is a real good one and then of course i have to mention imaginary friend by steven chbosky y'all knew this was coming maybe you didn't maybe you did uh you all know if you're a follower of my channel this is my favorite book of all time however it is a horror and it's horrific there are some really really messed up things <laughs> that happen in this book and there are some really scary images in this book and this was one where i would start reading it kind of before bed and i had to be like all right I'm gonna put it down because I need to wait for the sun to come up <laughs> to keep reading. It was that kind of book and I love that kind of stuff, but it was really at some points very creepy, like some of the imagery. Oh, it's so scary. But again, I loved it for that reason. Uh, so if you're willing to deal with some pretty scary stuff, if you're wondering like, is this gonna be too scary for me? If you watch Stranger Things on Netflix, that is kind of the level of horror nothing in this book i think is more horrific than what's happening in stranger things so if you're able to kind of handle that level of horror then i think you're going to be just fine with this level of horror i love this story not only for how scary it is but just the ugh, the characters i love them so much kate and christopher the mother and son in this story have my full heart i love them i love them so much so that is that is a good one and then finally the last book i have to mention i actually don't even own anymore because i had to stop reading it so full transparency i have no idea um how this book ends i don't know where it goes i read about 100 pages and i had to dip out and that is the troop by nick cutter this might be the most disgusting book i've ever read and i again am not one to get scared by books a lot and i think a big reason is because i don't visualize what i'm reading and so I know a lot of people, when they read, they kind of like see a movie in their head. And I don't. I really have a very hard time visualizing things. But this one, credit to Nick Cutter, because I was able to visualize a lot of what was happening. And I didn't want to. I was out. If you like body horror, this is your book. I do not like body horror. I do not like creepy things happening to people's bodies, inside people's bodies. I don't like it. No thank you. So this was not for me. But if that is your jam, this is a great one for you. I couldn't do it. I, I, I got 100 pages in and I couldn't do it. So credit, credit to the author. So disgusting. So gross. You're following a group of Boy Scouts who are camping out in the woods and they come upon a creepy man who has something wrong with him. They decide to take him in and things ensue. Oh my God, I can't. I don't even want to think about it. It's so gross. <laughs> so if you want the scariest book recommendation on this list, this is it. If, if body horror is something that creeps you out, like it creeps me out. So that is my list of scariest books I've ever read. Again, I am so curious. What is the scariest book you've ever read? I would love to know. I love getting creeped out by books. So <laughs> definitely leave those comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.